Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about finishing with Watco Lacquer. So this is a highly requested item. Watco is readily available in both spray can format and brush on. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate the spray can stuff today because that's a fairly common choice. It's not my favorite lacquer. I think you guys probably already know by now that the Bellin products, particularly the stringed instrument lacquer, um, those are my favorite. But this is still a nitrocellulose based lacquer according to their data sheet and uh, based on the smell, I believe that. One of the good things about it, it comes in a few different sheens. So you can get this in the gloss, the semi-gloss and the satin, they're all, they're all great. Satin's really nice of course, uh, gloss you usually have to polish up a bit but that's pretty standard. Today I'm going to be using the semi-gloss which is kind of a midway point between the two. What we're going to be finishing is this sign that I made for a friend of mine. It's kind of an inside joke, but anyway, uh, this has been finished in some shellac with a little bit of aniline dye in it to tint it. So if you haven't seen that video and you're interested, I showed how to kind of darken up that shellac a bit to get this nice dark look because this is what this wood normally looks like. Uh, and then it was a little darker before I went in and sanded it with 400 grit to prepare it for this lacquer. So what do you need to know about this? Well, it dries to the touch in about 30 minutes. Pretty good. Uh, not the fastest one out there, but you know, decent. And you don't need to sand between coats because it's a nitro lacquer. You can sand between coats. If you're gonna do that, I recommend waiting a day and then sanding, much like you would when you're doing stuff, you know, with, with a normal solvent-based paint and you're outside of your recoat window. Other information, it is very toxic. Wear a mask. If you don't have a mask and you wanna get one, check out the Amazon link in the description if you wanna buy one through one of my affiliate links. I would appreciate that, but if not, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're wearing one, it's important. Two, be careful what you put this on top of. It's lacquer, lacquer's a bit finicky. This was done, as I said, in shellac. Shellac is compatible with pretty much everything, so this shouldn't be a problem. But for example, if I were to spray this over top of an enamel the day after or something like that, it would probably craze very quickly and pretty aggressively. Most of us don't want that. You can put a couple coats of this on in a day. You can put a couple passes on at once. Uh, you'll notice me do that. I'll go over it twice and then we're gonna let it sit. This is a semi-gloss, so it doesn't need a huge buildup like a gloss necessarily would. I think it's gonna look good. We've got that piece sanded at 400 grit and cleaned. I'm gonna go ahead and mask up now and give this thing a spray. We'll demonstrate my spraying technique. Spoiler alert, it's the same as usual. 50% overlap. Don't lay it on too heavy. Lacquer, you can go a little thinner but uh, there's really not much else to know. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, and I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't say thank you to my Patreon supporters who supplied the funding to buy this so that I could demonstrate it for you. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Helps a lot. Let's get to it. There we go guys, that's it. That was one coat in two passes about 20 minutes ago. This is dry to the touch now and you can see that it's got this really nice semi-gloss sheen to it. The reason that worked so well is because this piece of wood was properly sealed with the shellac. I use the shellac to give it the color but also as a sealer, it's compatible. I did that about an hour ago. So we're good. If it doesn't seal like this right away, what you might have happen is the lacquer goes on and raises the grain in the wood a little bit. That's fine. Give it four hours to a day to dry and then come in and sand lightly against the grain, okay? To lightly, mind you, to take that off of there, get rid of any of that upward grain. And then you should find that within a short amount of time, you're able to get a coat like this you know, maybe two or three other coats will get you to this point. If you're doing a gloss finish, 
Well, you guys know how to do a gloss finish. If you're doing a gloss finish, you need to build up substantially more so that you can sand and polish it. Now, my plan at some point, and I shouldn't say plan, what I intend to do at some point is a gloss finish using the Watco spray cans to demonstrate that process for you with that product as well. Didn't have the opportunity to do that right now because this needed to be semi-gloss, but we'll get there. So stay tuned. That's gonna come up at some point. I've already shown you how to do a gloss lacquer spray can finish more than once using the Bellin stuff. But overall, the impression on the Watco, it works well, it dries quickly, it sprays relatively well. Okay, a lot better than some cans out there. Not as nice as the Bellin necessarily, but it's not as expensive either. Uh, and you can get a beautiful finish out of it, which is the important part. As always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for this Watco stuff, just go get it at Home Depot or something. It's available pretty much everywhere. Uh, if you did like the video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up so it's easier for other people to find. And yeah, that's about it. Have a good one. I will see you next time.